XDA Developers TV subscribers and guests. My name is Kevin, aka The Tech Ninja, Booyah! and today, live on XDA TV, I have a special video for you. It's the basics of Tasker Part 2. Now, if you don't know what Tasker is, I advise you to go back to watch the basis of Tasker Part 1. That video is very important to understand where we're heading in this video. So, if you're ready, go ahead and buckle up, sit back, get some popcorn, and welcome to my dojo. And the profile on my way home looks like it's launched by opening the program Waze. That sounds like a good idea. However, what if I open the program Waze in the middle of the day on accident? Or what if I just open it to check the weather or to check the traffic or see what's going on around me? Well, then that's going to launch my task, and that's something I don't want it to do. But first, let's go into the task and see what's in here. It looks like it sends a text message to a certain phone number. My Wi Fi is off, GPS is on, notification volume all the way up, display timeout is set to five minutes. Now, this part is really debatable. I have it at five minutes because my phone is always charging in my car. And I don't want my screen turning off when I'm actually using it. When I'm on the GPS system, it doesn't turn off, but when I go to music, it turns off in about a couple minutes. So I want it at five minutes so I don't have to fumble around with controls. I have a wait set for two minutes as well. So that means when this task is active, it waits two more minutes to proceed to the next steps. And in my circumstance, my next step is music. I want to have the music application open up after the map loads and I know where I'm going. So at this point, we need to add an additional context besides Waze. So we're going to press and hold on Waze and select add. At this point, it gives us five different contexts. Time. What time does the task fall between? Day. What day does the task fall on? Location. Where's your phone at currently? State and event are pretty much the same thing. State is what your phone is currently doing and an event is what already happened. For example, state, my phone is charging. Event, my phone is charged. At this point, we're gonna select day. We're gonna change the filter to weekday. We're gonna select the days that you work. We're gonna press and hold on ways again. And this time we're gonna select time. And once again, this is basically between what time will this task happen? All right, I have one more example for you lucky devils. Let's say you have one task that you wanna use in two different locations. Well, that's quite simple. You can see here I have gym and I have gym two. Yes, I have two gym memberships. Can't you tell? Gym 1 does not have a Wi-Fi location. I still want Tasker to be able to know when I'm in this location. So I'm going to set up a location variable. Once I open the location map, it shows you where you're at. Now Tasker gets a bad rap from people saying that it has a bad battery life. That's because it's a person that doesn't know how to use it, is not using it accurately. So at this point you can decide, do I want my GPS on to determine my location or do I just want to use the network towers? If you turn off GPS, make sure you up your radius so it can be more accurate. Because remember, all this is doing is bouncing off all the towers to sort of find where you're at. So it's going to be a little bit off. But you have to find your sweet spot. It's different for each person, it's different for each location, depending on your phone, depending on your signal, and depending on where you're at. So I can't give you a good variable to put in there. Now let's pop over to Gym 2. Now Gym 2 actually has Wi-Fi, so what we can do we can actually go up and set up Wi-Fi near. When we do Wi-Fi near, you press the magnifying glass and it shows you all the Wi-Fi's you've connected to. Select your gym Wi-Fi and go back. It makes it pretty simple. On a side note, if you go to Starbucks or Caribou Coffee or any of those high expensive places where you, where you sip coffee and play at your IMAX, do the same thing. Make a profile for that location and set the name of the Wi-Fi to the Starbucks Wi-Fi. And every time you go to any Starbucks, it'll kick off the same profile. Isn't Tasker fun? That's all, folks. Thank you so much for sticking around. Now, before you go, make sure you go ahead and like this video. And also, subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. There are tons and tons of videos on here. And watch every single one and like every single one. That is the most important thing. I hope you're learning, having fun, as always. My name is Kevin, a.k.a. The Tech Ninja. And this right here was an XDA Developers TV production.
Hello? I'm in the middle of making a YouTube video. What, what do you... Who's this? Hey, what up, my ninja?